You didn't think this day would come, but it is here. It's destiny, baby. <laughs> Welcome to John's low-budget destiny tour, which I have so dubbed because I... This is going to be a weird transition, <laughs> but I'll get to the point eventually, I promise. I didn't get to sleep until like 2 a.m. yesterday and then I went to work. This was not intentional. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the working was intentional. The not sleeping was not intentional. Uh, it just kind of happened. You know how that kind of happens sometimes. Uh, so I didn't want to put my brain into anything for this. So I thought what would allow me just to meander around and it would be mildly interesting. And I think destiny is probably one of the only things that qualifies for that. Um, Enjoying the sights? Something. Yep. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to start out in the Cosmodrome. Yeah, for you destiny friends, of course, you know this. For you non-destiny friends. Um, the Cosmodrome on Earth uh, in Russia is where you started the adventure way back in Destiny 1, so it's a classic area. Uh, and I'm just going to mosey about here, uh, do some activities, which you can see these little icons or different little activities you can do. Um, and just wax poetic about my time in the Cosmodrome. <laughs> And probably eventually do a strike, which, again, for you non-Destiny people, is kind of like a dungeon. This game also has dungeons, but dungeons are different than strikes because reasons. <laughs> I mean, that'll probably be enough. Um, and back to my original point of why this is a low-budget tour is you may notice some dropped frames. Uh, I have this recording at 30 FPS, and my computer still probably isn't going to love it because my CPU is not great, and this game I have installed on an external hard drive. <laughs> and that's the production quality you get from 2AM John. Also, there's this guy. I have no idea who this guy is. He's new, and I don't like him. But... I've got this tiny little bike. Also, I'll do a little dance. Nope, my dance, but my dance button. There you go. So you can see, I made this guy. This is my guy. You can also just see him in the inventory. Uh, his his armor doesn't normally look like that, but like I I changed it to look all cool, and I think he looks really cool. I want to highlight some of my favorite parts. It's, he's got the peak angel aesthetic. This is going to be a weird video. <laughs> so you love the peak angel aesthetic. Uh, you've got a matching uh, super powerful helmet. The, the yellow is the best quality for you non-Destineers, where he's got the flaming head, and then, then I, I matched having some little wingy wing red effects on there. And... Uh, He's got like the asymmetrical white on both of these legs or both his leg and his arm on the left side there. And that's great. And then kind of like the scrolling pattern here on like the little gold kind of matches, matches down here, that same kind of pattern. And then again, there's kind of like a, like a little delicate scrolling uh, throughout, throughout his little butt towel and to a lesser extent, the chest piece as well. And I think he looks really good. And he's got like his little angel wings. And it's great. So now, in the sky here, there is a public event where this big old this big old ship comes down and they're gonna try and try and mine mine all the resources and I gotta like oh I gotta stop them. <laughs> so these are just like um let's see. I guess the icon went away. Oh, it's that one. Uh, those pop up every now and again, and these little random events happen, 
and you can you can fight some boys and hopefully hopefully uh, team up with some friends here like Terminator who's running around with his glaive. That's a new weapon. And if we kill this thing, then we can trigger the heroic event and it gets even harder. And there you go. And it's wonderful. <laughs> I just got a little drop. I can't pick it up because I am a dinkus and I never have space in any of my inventories for anything. Uh, I have been known to just completely uh, be terrible at organizing. And it's much to the chagrin of everybody who plays this game with me. <laughs> also, I did uh, everything to help those guys right there. I was, I was very useful. <laughs> I didn't shoot one man. What is that? I don't know what that was. So there are a few little, um, little bits, you know, <laughs> uh, little phases to this public event that you just need to clear out the boys. And I guess I need to clear or kill the extractor if they haven't already to make it a, a bigger, a bigger version with better rewards and it's all cool. Back in the day, uh, Nobody really knew how to change these public events to the heroic mode by like doing their little extra puzzly bits. And uh, it was very difficult to try and coordinate. Uh, but now these have been in the game for like four years. So now you can just hang out on your tiny little thing. Look, look at it. Look at it, it's so cute. It's like one of those things from like a jungle gym. Everybody loves that. <laughs> oh, man. And I guess I could pick this thing up. This thing is basically just a quest um, to uh, take boys out. Let's see. Where's the extractor? Did he already kill it? He didn't kill it. Pew! 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 Hooray! Heroic event! <laughs> so, with this, you would normally just have to take out um, like all of the enemies here, but, uh, if you kill all those little suck tubes <laughs> before, <laughs> before you do that, it like spawns this little capture area with all these crystally crystals, uh, and you can get more stuff. And also it's really easy if you have like a million people here, like I do. You don't really have to hit anybody, but I'm fine with it because then I don't have to think or aim. I'm just sit back in my chair and enjoying, enjoying the thing. Sending my love to his, his, uh, stop moving. His, his, his junior over here. Punch. So this cool hat I have is a new exotic from the most recent expansion, The Witch Queen. Um, and uh, when my abilities kill things, they make these little flame spots. And if I stand in those, I heal. And I really like, I really like uh, the flame spots. So I'm glad they added that thing in. Also, it looks really cool. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a ship in the sky. Can you tell I'm taking this very seriously? A paunch! Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I just need to wait for seven more percent for this to end. And I could be killing any of these boys to progress my little patrol quest I picked up there. And I finished both of them right at the exact same time. Hooray! So then we get some looty loots and kind of... Move on with our day. But more importantly than that, I just kind of want to go around the Cosmodrome here. Basically, for one of the very first missions um, in Destiny 1, the very first mission uh, you spawn, I think, in like an area you like never go to anymore. But for the second one, and a lot of others, you spawn like around here. I think it's around here. That seems right. And then you gotta go to these big old, big old shippy ships and like activate a satellite. 
It's just, it's just, it's very nostalgic for me being here because they added this back into Destiny 2, this area. Um, I think with like the Beyond Light expansion, the expansion before this, but it looks like maybe they changed some things. Either that or my memory's flawed. Let's just keep going and see what we can see. Um, and I haven't played in like a really long time. <coughs> Excuse my nose. Yeah, no, they didn't change anything. I just forgot where we were. Let's see. This was a place that I spent a lot of time in. What is that? Hmm. Because I always like these planes. Basically, whenever I came to test a gun in the original game or like mess around with a new build, I would always come to Earth and hang out around here because there were just a lot of enemy spawns and it's a good time. Let's see, is there anything else we want to do around here? I kind of want to see how far I can get out here. Because this is the same path you take for that first mission after you, like, meet up with all your superhero <laughs> god friends at the, the tower, it's called. Hello, knights. And then you're introduced to like a really creepy enemy race of like bug bug people and you can see on my screen i got my little super so if i want to ever oh yeah here they are the hive they are called and they are incredibly creepy and i think they're my favorite race in the game there is the fallen the hive the vex the cabal and the scorn the scorn are relatively new um, but the Hive are, like, just, like, so quintessentially alien. These guys are... These guys are wild. And I feel like... There's... The different enemy types have, like, kind of different styles to them, and I, I just feel like the Hive are the coolest. Let's see. So I think this is the area... Where you had to go... Is it in the first mission? It's around here somewhere. It's one of the classic Destiny 1 lines where Peter Dinklage used to be the voice actor for... Um, for this little guy. Who looks a little different because I basically have a cosmetic on him. The guy in my hand, the ghost... Um, where he just sound, sounded very unenthused. Oh, let's see. We're right here, aren't we? I never did this, but it's right here. This, when Destiny 1 was just like a cult classic, was uh, the place to be. Uh, this place that is Disturb the Remains here um, was called... <laughs> lovingly the loot cave because the way that it worked um in the original game at least for a while before they patched it is enemies would spawn from here um rather than just being out around where all these boys are being annoying to me um and you could just sit back and with like i believe like a team of three just constantly shoot into this cave uh, and you would just get infinite loop drops here. And if you... A million guests are not enough for Master Raoul. If you disturb the remains there, they put in this little Easter egg where a million deaths is not enough for Master Rahul, who was the guy you basically took... Um, all the stuff that you got from this cave too, in order to actually get gear. Uh, that was before my time. I joined the destiny train, I think in the second year, um, where they came out with the taken King expansion. I joined just before that, I guess, but 
Let's see. Why aren't there any cool mishy mish here? I guess that's probably enough for the old Cosmo. I wish they put in the Plague Lands, which is actually originally uh, basically where this gun was from. Essentially, that was uh, an extension of the Cosmodrome here, um, but it had been taken over by like this technological plague of like nanobots. It was really cool. Uh, I liked it. But anyway, there's the tour. Um, Shaw is talking to us, to us about another public event, but we'll probably ignore him. And I will jump into some Vanguard Ops, uh, which basically puts you into the strikes, theoretically. Apparently, they also added something in this called Battlegrounds. I think was in the last expansion, which to me feels a lot like the strikes. So I understand why they put him in, but we'll see if we get a battleground or a strike here, which is a team of three thing. Basically make your way through an area. It's usually got some light story to it and then, uh, take out a boss, get your loot. It's a nice PVE thing. Hmm. It was always one of my preferred activities, just to kind of mindlessly spam for XP and weapon progress and getting new stuff. So, there are a lot of them. I would guess there's probably, at this point, like 15 different strikes. I'm just pulling that out of the air, but um, hopefully we get a, we get a decently interesting one. The load time, probably, oh, I was going to say might be a little bit because of the SSD. I don't know if I've done the strike. Huh, I don't think I've done this strike. <laughs> so the ghost is talking to a robot woman. What's the story is here? Where we need to destroy a portal of for robots. We need to focus on stopping any further incursions from the portal. Understood. We'll take care of it. So me and Red Lion and Broke and Bones here are gonna so take care of the problem. I'm pretty sure they're just Yep, they're just repeating these voice lines, so that's fun. <laughs> Hopefully that's the end of that. Um, so the fun thing about Destiny is it's got a nice balance of good gunplay and then like different class uh, abilities and differentiation. Every class has some grenades. Mine right now is just a sticky grenade. Oh, I will save you, Red Lion. Don't worry. Oh, okay. You don't need me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I've also got like a fire punch. It's not basically you have a grenade ability and a melee ability. It's not the flashiest uh, melee ability in the game, that one. And then every ability also has a class ability. I'm kind of like the tanky boy, so I've got putting up this little barrier here. Um, and then I've got a primary weapon here, which is this little pulse rifle. Then I've got like a little chargey beam thing. And then I've got my big old rocket launcher. So between just all the variety of tools that you have in your pocket um, and also having um, like the guns themselves have abilities and such, and uh, so does the armor. And especially with the yellow tier armor and weapons, the exotics, they have kind of game-changing things that they can do. So you can put together some interesting stuff. Um, and do a decent job of playing how you want. It's still not exactly where I would hope it would be, but it's, it's gotten better over time. And I mean, it's very fun. And theoretically, with a big asterisk, I mean, it is free to play. Um, 
the experience for new players is very confusing though. Um, and to get any of the most recent content, you need to uh, pay for the expansions. What is hitting me? <laughs> I could also probably just go hang out in my little flame, flame circles there. If I punch this guy, I can get one up, which not only heals me when I'm in it, but just it does a normal thing if you're not wearing the cool hat um, that decreases the cooldown between when you can use your grenade and melee abilities. So I like it because if I actually had a build set up, I definitely don't right now. I just kind of have some base armor and stuff on. I could have my grenade and melee up like all the time basically and just have a lot a lot of fun options and stuff uh, so it's a subclass that i like oops that's the wrong button every every class has <laughs> actually has four types of subclasses um basically a fire one a lightning one a, a, a purple one <laughs> and there's an ice one that came from this expansion i've been kind of traveling around ice world here that i never finished um so maybe i'll unlock that at some point but it's uh it's a decent amount of customization because even within those four uh there are kind of different talent trees you can pick from the only caveat I have to saying it's a good amount of customization is the fact that even with the amount of things you can change, to some extent it all kind of feels a little samey. That's why I liked Anthem. The classes were just so incredibly diverse. Like, I mean, you had a... Can you please let me in? A uh, crazy flying wizard boy that shot magic from the sky. You had just a ball of steel man <laughs> and you had like the fast rogue man i think those were oh right and there was like iron man and let's see we've got a hunter here uh, and another titan which is the class that i am but to me they kind of all play the same and the subclasses within the classes there's some variation, but uh, I just feel like they could do a little bit more to diversify. One man's hot take, anyway. So now, apparently, we're just waiting for this thing to charge up while we're in this circle. And I think it'll build out the floor in front of us so we can proceed. Let's see, can we get somebody kind of low? I want to show you a thing that they kind of added like probably two years ago, but to me, it seems new still. Come on, get low. Oh yeah. Kabow. <laughs> if you get them to low enough health, they get like this little white dot above their head and you can do a finisher on them. And there are a bunch of different finisher animations. One of them, they're usually in the cash shop, but I have a few of them. He killed it before I could do it. So now I'm sad. Are there any boys back here? No. But I've got, like, a, that little spinny kick. I've got just, like, a tough guy punch. And I've got, like, a headbutt thing. <laughs> so that's fun. It doesn't do a ton, <laughs> but it looks cool. <laughs> so nothing wrong with that. And maybe here, eventually, I'll actually use my super so I can show you that thing. We'll probably get into the boss here soon. This might be it. You can see that some enemies have like the little circle of color around them. That means they've got like a shield that corresponds to one of those elements. So that guy's was blue and it was lightning. I currently have a void, which is the purple. <laughs> uh, secondary equipped, so it doesn't really do a ton. But if I had... A lightning arc one equipped, it would do more. So now I can pop my super. And in this form, I get like 
big old hammers here that I can chuck uh, that they leave those little spots of fire that I can stand in and if I stand in them my super lasts longer and my hammers do a ridiculous amount of damage to everything. Uh, so now basically, as you would expect, we just gotta take out the boss. But it looks like he's gonna do an annoying thing that Destiny bosses often do, which is just go immune and you have to like clear out um, his friends or destroy a structure or something for him to come back. So, yeah, I've definitely never done this strike. I like these walking guys. Ow. Don't do that to me. No, he's back. These guys were always... Is that good? Oh, that's not the boss. <laughs> it's just uh, another yellow tier guy. Which are theoretically more dangerous enemies. The red health bars are the easiest to kill. Oh, I don't want to die here or we're going to reset. So I better go back to my friends and revive them. Um, and then orange health bars are kind of like the second most difficult. And then there's yellow health bars. And then there's like super bosses that have a yellow health bar, but it's not like above their name. It's like under kind of like your gun area and it has like their name there it's usually like Cran cranky defender of the death <laughs> and you're like oh man this guy's this guy's this guy's, this guy's the, real, the, real, the real deal is he gonna do that again Probably. Ah, he's gonna do it again, because he did it when we got him down to a third. That's annoying. I don't like when they artificially make you have to fight. Just let me kill the boss. So this gun that I have, uh, it is an exotic. Uh, its whole thing is if you get precision kills, which are the, like the yellow damage numbers you see, it spawns that same like um, techno nano virus type thing, uh, and it kind of like seeks out the enemies. So this guy's got a purple shield. So since I've got a void weapon, uh, I'll do a bunch of extra damage to him and easily take him out there. Oh, he's back. So you might be able to see, let's try it on this guy. I don't think I killed him with precision damage. There's a lot going on. I'm trying to show you <laughs> the uh, nanobots that spawns from this gun. There you go. These little red wispies, if there were people uh, near that guy, they would just kind of seek them out and uh, home towards them and do a bunch of extra damage. And it makes a very satisfying sound, and I like it. I just picked up a purple brick of ammo, which is my heavy weapon, so that'll be useful here. So I can pop this man with a rocket or two and hopefully call this a day before too long. There you go. And my friends finished him off. So we'll just go explode there and... His friends all disappear, I believe. Yes? No? No, yes? Seems like no. <laughs> At least I can use my super again. Can you tell I haven't done this strike before? In like 99% of Destiny content, when you kill the boss, all the other guys just disappear. But apparently this one wants to be different. Do we have to kill the gate? Is that a thing? Oh, probably got to take out the yellow bars. There you go. And then we should get a chesty chest, as well as just some extra loot. And we'll get a nice confetti. And then you rinse and repeat for a million other activities. <laughs> Let's see what else the map has. It's 
So these days there is that playlist, which is like the PVE stuff. Then Gambit is a combination of PVP and PVE where you kind of are racing against another team to try and complete an objective. Crucible is just straight PVP. Uh, I think this is just like old stuff. Um, and then there's all these different planets that you can go to that are kind of more like explore on your own type deals or um, they have like rotating objectives for one uh, every week. And there's of course the end game content, which is for the most part the raids, which are always a good time. Uh, you get six boys and, and get to probably dedicate like two hours of your time to taking out these big bosses if you can. So there you go. <laughs> That's the low budget Destiny tour. What is that? Oh, lure. Um, gonna keep it pretty crispy, by which I mean <laughs> pretty tight. Uh, just because you could go on Destiny forever. Uh, just ask my boy Dado. <laughs> but that gives you a little bit of a peek into some of my preferred stuff. And remember, being lovely is your destiny. <laughs>